you approach the uh, entrance. You exit the dark and yes, dank narrow passageway to emerge onto a worked stone floor. Looking about you, you see that you have entered a large square chamber hewn completely from stone. You notice two stone doors, one to your side and the other in front of you. Uh, this is your last chance to rest. Once you cross the threshold, you're just going to be in the thick of it. And uh, if you if you need to rest, rest now. I mean it. Reflect before entering the dungeon. You are at the entrance chamber. Nothing else enters. An inspection of the doors reveals that they are absolutely featureless, devoid of any markings, symbols, or even any sign of use. You may open either of the doors by simply placing your hand on it, and pushing the door gently glides inward and remains open. Once you cross the threshold, the door slams shut. You'll only be going forward now, there is no turning back. As you push the door, the edge disappears into a blackness that lies just beyond. You allow the door to open completely and watch as more and more of it swallowed up in the barrier until only its hinges are visible. Peering cautiously into the darkness for signs of movement, you see nothing. Even your ears can only detect the breathing of your fellow adventurers. Or you're just by yourself. Completely alone in isolation. Going through this large, mad dungeon. The dark space reveals nothing of what lies beyond. The doorway circumscribes an area that is permanently warded by an uh, oblique magical field. This field prevents all vision, including dark vision and low light vision, as well as all sound from passing through from one side to the other in either direction. In addition, the magical field has an unusual and permanent force effect that allows creatures and items to enter the dungeon without difficulty, but absolutely prevents them from leaving. As you enter into this room, the markings and general decor show that you are most clearly inside an orc stronghold. A former orc stronghold. Within this region, the orcs choose the section closest to the entrance for defensive reasons and launch all their search expeditions from here. Unfortunately, while this portion of the dungeon is defensively strong, the same qualities limit the ability of the orcs to explore the other parts of the dungeon. As the conflict with the reptilians escalated, the orcs' leader, an orc barbarian named Orkar, decided that it was time to force a decision. Marshalling the orcs, he led them in an all-or-nothing assault on the reptilians throughout the dungeon. As a result, this section has been abandoned by the orcs since that time, although they plan to return here and establish a garrison to guard the entrance once they were victorious. This has not come to pass. While the unexpected release of the extraplanar beast and the subsequent dissemination and fragmentation of riot only the orc, but also reptilian forces, the section is wide open to any humanoid survivors that can make it this far. It looks like uh, all the orcs might already be dead. Lucky you. I thought you were about to have to fight through an entire orc stronghold. Your torchlight gleams feebly in this complete gloom lighting up a small region of what appears to be a large room. Two iron doors, one straight ahead of you and the other to its side, are the only things that break up the unending mass of worked stone. The chill and damp air clings to your body, and you are not only one feeling at judging by the cough coming out of the darkness. You hear a cough. Three orc warriors. Looks like they're not all dead. They sit huddled together in the northeast corner of the room, one of them trying to stifle another's cough. They are a sorry remnant of the orc forces that followed Longtail into the dungeon. They look extremely haggard with deep bags over their scar-marked faces and ashen paleness, warning of their weakened state. The orcs were trying to hide from you, but you rush in and slay them for XP. You're going to need to slay a lot more orcs if you want to get to level 8.